Hey guys, Ana Soto here, also known as Homegirl Can Sell. This video is for the brand new agents that are looking to sell a ton of homes within the first six months of being in real estate. I'm sharing with you the top four real estate lead generation sources that will help you produce a ton of leads and make a lot of money in 2023. Now, before we begin, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am a realtor in the beautiful state of New Mexico. During my first year, I sold more than 20 homes, and guess what? I did it in six months. So what I'm about to teach with you really does work. It's gonna be up to you whether you want to approach real estate this manner or choose something differently. Here we go. The first thing every brand new realtor needs to take advantage of is their database. What is a database? Well, a database is a collection of every single person that you know who might one day buy a home from you. It's the people that are closest to you. It's your family, your friends, your classmates, the people that you go to the gym with, you might be involved in groups, anybody that you know, that's what your database is. Now, all those people, you probably have them on your cell phone. So you're gonna grab every single person's name, their phone number, and an email, you're gonna gather all of these people that you know, and you're going to one by one upload them into your CRM. So now that you have all of these people put together inside your CRM, you're gonna call them one by one. You have to let people know that you are a realtor. Have authentic conversations. Do not be salty when you talk to these people. These people know you, they already trust you, they already like you. You have to let them know that you're a realtor. Believe me guys, there is a lot of realtors out there, what we call secret agents. They don't tell people they're realtors and then they end up buying a home or selling a home with somebody else, not buying with you because they never knew you were a realtor to begin with. The first thing is to let every single one know that you're a realtor. Your database is what we also call a sphere of influence. Your sphere of influence are the people that know you. It could be people that you used to work with previously. So whenever you hear the word database or sphere of influence, that's who we're talking about. Now, when you are a brand new realtor, your database is going to start with people that you know. As a brand new realtor, you really need to take advantage of your current database. The second way to get leads as a brand new agent is to host open houses. Now, if you don't have any listings in which you can do an open house, I recommend you call other realtors and ask them if they will allow you to conduct an open house on their behalf. There are a lot of realtors who do not want to do open houses. They do not want to work on Sundays. So talk to those realtors first. See if they will allow you to do an open house. Now, this is the secret sauce about open houses. You have to market this open house to its fullest potential. Call your database. Make a social media post. Put a ton of for sale signs all over the place days in advance so that people can stop by. Put it on Facebook Market. Send out flyers. Door knock on all the neighbors around the open house. If you do a correct open house, one open house should give you at least three more. There are so many ideas to do around an open house that if you do it correctly, it will generate more business. One thing I do want to mention is that when you are focusing on doing an open house, stay away from the stupid little things. Who cares what kind of snacks you're gonna have? Who cares that the house smells like fresh baked cookies? Nobody really cares. You need to prepare yourself. Make sure that you know the house. Make sure that you know the right questions to ask and have authentic conversations with the people that show up. Make sure you also have a follow-up plan because you might meet a lot of people on open houses, but guess what? These people don't show up and buy the house. The chances of a person buying the home that show up to an open house are very, very slim. You have a much better chance at making those clients your clients if you follow up with them. Find out what their reasons for selling or buying are and make sure that you love on these clients, that you give them your attention and you make sure that you are there to service them. 
The third approach, and this is my all time favorite approach on how to get new clients is to use social media. Social media is so underrated. I received the majority of my leads off of social media. And if you use it correctly and you are consistent, you will get business off of social media. It is something that you do not expect to post one time and then get a client out of it. No, it takes several, several attempts. It takes time to build. But once you get that system rolling and going, you are set. So now if you're going to get into social media, make sure you post daily, make sure that you post things that are not only real estate related, but that is also going to give them information. You are to use social media to inform, to entertain, to share stories, to share your experiences. You are not there to sell. People hate to be sold to. So what you need to do, you need to share your knowledge. You are the expert share that expert just because you are new does not mean that you don't know anything as a matter of fact you probably know a lot more than the average show share that information and if you are going to use social media to grow your business make sure everyone that you know is in your friend list create a business account and grow that business account as well you're going to start off with zero and many people will not follow your business account but that's okay, it is up to you and only you to grow that business account. Not only should you be posting, but you should be doing videos. The algorithms nowadays push videos so much more than they do posts and pictures. The beautiful thing about video is that a video will stay on your social media platform forever. If you call every single day and you're doing phone calls and you're doing cold calls, what happens the day that you stop making those calls? Business stops coming. However, if you have a collection of videos, your social media platform becomes a portfolio. It becomes a resume for potential buyers and sellers. And you can go off on vacation and people will still be calling you because those videos are working over time. Those videos are working 24 seven versus you calling every single day. So I always, always, always encourage any brand new realtors, actually, I encourage any kind of realtor to start using social media. It is a platform that produces itself over and over and over again, and they're there forever. The fourth lead generation idea that I want to share with you is farming. Old school farming, it still works. Farming is when you find a geographic area in town and you send them postcards. You send them postcards soliciting that they buy or sell with you as a realtor. So the thing about farming is that farming is a little expensive. This is not free. Unlike social media, which is a free lead generation platform, farming is not. Farming, you have to pay for postage, you have to create the flyers, you have to create the postcards, and it does cost money. So if you are not ready to commit to a full year of farming, do not start. Now, whenever you do decide to choose your geographic area, you make sure that you pick a place that has a good turnover rate of at least five to 6%. You target who your audience is and you provide postcards and flyers to them. Once again, these flyers are not to be salesy. They are to provide value to your clients. Now, if you have a very strong social media presence and you want to start farming, you are going to be very, very successful. One idea that I really want to share with you is that when you do send a postcard, make sure that you put a QR code to your social media platforms. That QR code that you are mailing out should either send them back to your website, to one of your social media platforms, or to a video that's, that's going to help your clients choose you over any other realtor in town. Now, I will be producing another video all about farming, which is one of the best lead generation sources out there, but you do need money to start this one up. But if you are a new agent and you have the source to pay, the return on your investment would be so worth it. That is the end of my video. Those are the four lead generation sources that I highly recommend. Make sure that you are taking advantage of your database. Make sure that you are hosting open houses, use social media, and if you have that option, start farming a specific geographic area. By doing those four things, 
you will be a very successful agent within the six months of being a realtor. Now remember, everything that I've told you is something that you need to be consistent with. If you're gonna do it just one time and forget about it, it's not gonna work. Real estate is about being dedicated, about being consistent, and making sure that you are giving it your all. Now, if you have not done so, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. I do spend a lot of time and energy making these videos for you, so a like and subscription would be very, very appreciated. Thank you, and have a good one.